yeah, we're in. Connection's good. Okay, so we're live. Um, today, Charlie's already done a warm-up, so he's already been outside practicing some bits. So we're going to leave the dynamic warm-up um, for today. We're going to, And it's going to be purely just a technical session. So we're probably going to leave out all of the explosive movements today, let his body recuperate. We're just going to do a load of technical uh, drills. We're going to refine technique, uh, passing and moving, some ball skills, um, and we'll probably be about 45-minute session. All right? What we're going to do, we're just going to do a little warm-up facing the wall. So what I want you to do is inside taps and then make 10 and then pass, okay? Let's go. Good. So we're just going to get lots of touches of the ball. Changing the feet after every 10. Last one. And stop. Okay, stand back and do two touch. Let's go. Yep, just change the feet. So try and get it from one foot to the other. So see what Charlie's doing most of the time. He's just taking it from one side to the other. So he's using both feet. Okay, get a little bit closer. Okay, do one touch, alternate feet, let's go. So left, left foot to right foot. So we're not doing no plyometrics today. We're doing no agility training, it's just gonna be a technical session. Just let him recover. Good, Charlie, 10 seconds. Three, two, one, and stop. Very good. Okay, let's get inside, outside on the move. Let's go anywhere you want. Use the open space, yeah? You start in right foot, good. Change feet. Good, toe taps moving, let's go. Good, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Good, just nice and comfortable, we're done. Okay, back to the wall. Okay, we're gonna go four inside, outside on the spot and just make a pass, okay? Start with your left, let's go. So, one, two, three, four, pass, good. Change sides, good. Three, four, side foot. One, two, three, four, side foot. One, two, three, four, side foot, good. One more. And relax. Good. Soles, laces on the spot. If you go, 20 reps. Fifteen, fifteen, good. And relax. Good. So. Okay. So I'm not even going to explain too much today in terms of the details. Um, I'm just going to let him... Just let him go for go with the flow today. So I'm going to tell him what to do. I'm not going to give him much. Obviously, he knows what he's doing because he knows the drills. But I'm just going to let him go with the flow today, okay? So one, two. So it's the inside of your feet. You must go behind the ring, bring it back out, and do little steps constantly. Right, left, well done. Three, two, one, and stop. Well done. 
Okay, change feet, let's go. So inside, inside again, yeah? Off you go. One little tip, you can't do all three in one if you're doing this drill. So you can't go bang, bang, and then pass it without putting your foot on the floor. So make sure your feet are nice and relaxed with little steps before you make a pass because you can't lunge forward after three touches like that, okay? Good. Three, two, one, and stop. You go, Char. Good. In, out, in, out. Love it. Good. So we're just going to make it nice and flow. Not too much. He doesn't need too much rest with the ball drill. The plyometric drills and the agility stuff is far more harder on the body. You know, you could be doing this, these kind of drills three times a day with, the, with both feet just using a wall and be fine. Good, one, two, three, good. One more. Stop, all done. Okay? Okay, let's go in again, change feet. Again, we do go through a lot and lot of detail in terms of how we coach. And you can see that from the videos, you know, we go into a lot of detail um, in terms of how to break it down. So just remember with this one, it's just inside, outside, inside, outside. You do one side at a time. Look how small the touches are so it stays close to his body. He's always moving his feet. Okay, good, 10 seconds. We probably have about a thousand of these drills. Um, a lot of them we don't. A lot of new stuff we've, we've actually come up with is going to go into an eight-week program. Three, two, one, and stop. Well done. How you feeling? Good. Nice and relaxed. Just inside, pass and move on both sides. Okay. okay, let's go. You're nearly a quarter of the way through, okay? So just keep working. Loads of touches. We're going to have thousands of touches today. Perfect if you want to improve technically. Good. It's just purely a touch session. Well done. Positive touch. Well done. Positive touch. Love it. Good. 10 seconds. Good, Charlie. Well done. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. You all right? Yeah, Roll pass. Off you go. Little steps, yeah? yeah? Create the space. Hip over the ball, well done. Move your body with the ball. Unlucky. Back in, well done. more seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Stop. Very good. Yeah, take your jumper off. You might be a bit hot now. Take your jumper off. It's hot. Okay. 
without the steps, Chaz. Okay. Relax to start with, yeah? Let's go. Good. One, two. Side foot. Side foot. Side foot. Love it. Excellent. So you notice with this one, there's no steps. Just straight follow through. Roll past it straight away. So it's one motion, okay? Be calm. One motion. One, two. One, two. Ten. Nine. Eight, seven, good, six, five, four, good, Charlie, three, two, one, and relax, good. Okay, let's do some ball mastery, so. Okay, you can do the three touches in a row and then put your foot down. So let's roll it foot down so right left right foot down good one two three good and then your foot hits the ground well done ten go down the side of the hoop good five four three two one and stop class Catch your breath. Okay, change sides, and then we're gonna go back into the wall, okay? Off you go. One, two, forward and back. One, two, forward and back, good. Good lad, well done. What's important is the third one gets out of your feet. Because when we was doing the explosive work in the week, we was emphasizing on the positive touch, so he doesn't need another one. That's a great touch. Well done. Just move your body with the ball. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Good. So today, just a technical session. It does get tough when you're doing all of those explosive movements every day you're doing those fast feet exercises in the ring and you're doing the change of direction drills it can it can get tough on the body so he hasn't asked us to, to not do that today i've just took it upon myself to give him a little break from that because he's probably done that in every single session so far especially the fast feet on the ground um, and then we'll go back to doing some of that on friday because tomorrow um there's no live tomorrow as which me and charlie are going to do a probably a 10k run um, so again, we, we can't be doing a 10k run and then doing this session. I've got to look after his body. And it is my birthday. So, Right, you ready? So what we're going to do, um, we're going to go for outside pass and take it across to the outside of your foot. Yeah, let's go. So again, as he's doing a long distance run tomorrow, just technique today, he's going to be you know, more fresh than if he was to do all those agility drills. Going into doing a continuous run tomorrow. Good. And we'll see how we... we definitely do a session Friday, but depending on how he feels, we'll be depending on what we do. Good. Touch, little steps. Touch, little steps. Touch, little steps. Good. Well done. Positive touch. Good boy. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. So you can see the first 15 minutes is fairly simple, but you know, simple um, sometimes is the best way in terms of effectiveness. So if you want to get better with the, at the fundamentals with the outside, inside, and your soul, okay, you've got to be doing those drills quite a lot. So we broke them down um, from one side at a time, and then we actually progressed it. So even though they look simple, Okay, you have to keep repeating the process if you want to get better and better. Okay, so what we're going to do, we'll go inside, outside, pass, right foot, Charlie, okay? The one we've done, we've done, we do quite a lot of, yeah? Three, two, one, let's go. So with one side at a time, okay, on this one. 
Then we're going to add a variation in with a pass, with a diagonal pass after. Good. Good, Charlie. Well done. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Good lad. Left foot, play. Love it. Great technique. Always moving the standing leg and brings it back when he uses his left. Good. 10 more seconds. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Be prepared to move your feet because not every single touch is going to be where you want it to go. Sometimes you might overhit it, sometimes you might underhit it. So you've got to be proactive on your toes constantly doing little steps. Good. So, do you want a drink first? Um, no, I'm not. No, you sure? Stay tight to the hoop, yeah? Let's go. Straight diagonal. So make sure we're not standing behind the ring on the diagonal pass. If we stand behind the ring, it cuts the angle off. If you step down the side, okay, you can see the wall. So if you can see the wall, you can make the pass. It's like seeing a teammate's feet in a game. If you can't see their feet, you can't make a pass. So the angle is very important to where you um, set your body up before you even start the, start the second one. So you see, look, you can see the pass. It's a nice angle for him. Look, you can see the gap there. There we go. If you can't see the gap, you won't be able to do it. So don't hide, don't hide behind them behind the ring because all it will happen it will go over the ring and it will cut your angle off good 10 9 8 get that left foot one down the side good get it then step in 5 4 good 3 2 1 and stop well done Charlie All right, so let's put the inside outside and the set diagonal together. Off you go. Good. Love that. Love it, Chaz. One, two. Straight diagonal. One, two. Good boy. One, two. Touch. One, two. Touch. 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 Good, Charlie. One, two. Straight. Round. Good. One, two. What's important is we didn't just go straight into this. We done, we broke each part down. So we done the inside outside. And then we started doing the, the straight diagonal back separately and back to back. So by the time he goes into it now, both the patterns are in his brain. He's already, he's already sunk in before he started doing it. Three, two, one, and, and that way you're going to get probably a little bit more sharpness out of the drill. Okay, what we'll do, we'll do the, some half turn stuff in the middle. Okay. So if you've got, you might not have two walls, we're quite lucky to have both walls like this because you can get on a turn. So what you need to do is if you've got um, one wall, okay, you can use someone to give it back to you. So. For instance, if I play Charlie in his back foot here, so if, if, it's, if I'm on the left side, so imagine we're on the left side, I hit his back foot, he turns, he gives it off the wall, he gives it back to me, then all I do is control it, give it back to him. So he's going to go there, 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 and then just give it back to him. Okay, so if you, if you don't have two walls, you can do that off, just get on a turn like that. Okay, if you do, then you're just going to use both the walls on a turn, on a half turn, yeah? Just like turning out on your back foot. So turning your body with the ball. So making sure it touches out your feet. Then you turn your body in, in conjunction with the ball to so make it all sink. Good. So it's two touch. So it's left, left. So what we're, te we're teaching good habits, okay? Especially for anyone in midfield, they're going to have to constantly turn and, you know, switch the ball in centre midfield. Same with centre back. You've got to be good enough to turn on both sides. Be comfortable. So look, as he passes with his left, he turns his body vice versa, okay? So his back foot inside of your feet. And look, watch him turn his body completely. 
It's very simple. It's very effective. Three, two, one, and stop. And then if you if you have got a partner, you can go this side and just play it to this. So I showed you that side. You can just give it to him on his left. He plays that side off the wall, gives it back set, and then bang in the back foot again. Okay. Well done, Chaz. Good. Relax. Have a 30 seconds rest. But you're just creating good habits. If you don't train that way, you're not all of a sudden going to start opening out in games. You might take it on your front foot and that takes a couple more seconds. So what you don't want to do, try to play it in, play it into the wall, get it on your right foot, take a touch back and then try and turn. Or take a touch back, now turn. Okay, now if the aim is to, if the aim is to get the ball out here, okay, within a couple of seconds, that's too long. Okay, so this is why we're teaching to turn out on the back foot. So you're going to do it again, turn out on the back foot. So it's a lot quicker how you just open out and you're comfortable on both sides as to trying to use your strongest foot running around the ball and taking more time than you need. Okay, those, those couple of seconds make a massive difference. Okay, and relax. Okay, good. Let's go for... Um... Come in here, mate, please. Shift up, V, turn left foot. Off you go. So inside, inside, V turn pass. So one, two, three, four. Four touches and then pass. In, in, V turn pass. Good. We, broke, we spoke about the technique um, in many other videos on this one. So we're not going to go into too much detail. Just going to let him get on with it. One, two, three. One, two, three. Good. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Quality. Change feet. Out your feet. Good. So it's right, left, right. Hips. Well done. Ten seconds. Good. And relax. So we'll go slightly more challenging. Both sides. Probably Charlie's best drill on the wall. Mm -hmm. Get your breath back first. When you're ready, let's go. Pass, receive it, still and turn. So control, turn. Move it slightly closer, slightly, sorry, me. Okay. Less time to think. Good. Good. Hips. Touch. So it's control it, trap it first, then use the V. Trap it, use the V. So you're constantly changing feet. Hips. Open the hips fully, and the ball will do the rest. 10, 9, 8, good. And stop. You all right? Yes. Sir. Well done. Okay, let's do the inside outside on the spot. Start with your left foot. Okay. Straight in, yeah? Roll it, put your foot down. Okay, let's go. Four touches, straight lines, in, out, in, sole. Watch where the little steps, where they hit the ground. Take note. Where the feet, where the feet, where, what, 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 at what point the foot hits the floor. So you can see it come away from the ball. Four 
five, four, three, two, one, stop. Good. We're going to change feet, okay? When you're ready, have a rest first. You okay? Yes. Okay, let's change feet for 20, 30 seconds. Well, 30, let's go for uh, 20 to 30 seconds, yeah? Let's go. Good. Good, keep going, well done. Doing really well, great feet. Great feet, killing it, well done. Good boy. Good, 10, 9, 8, 7. Good, standing leg, well done. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Good boy. Okay, you ready? Yep. Cool. Flip flap. Okay. So we'll just do another 10 minutes to just some harder ones. Okay. okay. So with this one, he passes his right foot and he flip flaps it on his left foot. So one, two, pass. One, two, good. Little steps and then pass it. Flip flap, little steps. Out in. Good. 10. And stop. So yeah, just turn it to jump, yeah? yeah? Well done. Change sides. Good. Just keep the touches small, yeah? That's it. Good. Keep doing those little steps. Keep doing those little steps. Out in. Good. First touch towards the ring. Well done. Ten. Good. Nine. Eight. Five. Good. Four. Three. Good. Love that one. And stop. Good boy. Okay, so we're just going to do some some cuts in the open space here. So it's going to be touch, touch, drive with the ball, don't hesitate, cut. We do one left, we do one right, we do one left, we do one right. Okay. Outside cuts, okay? Left is there, right is here, yeah? Let's go. Good, shape up like you're going to have a strike. Outside cut, into your path, good. Touch, 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 Shot, strike, outside cut, good. Get the opposite arm up and strike. And stop, well done. It's hard, it's easier for you on the dominant side because it's not. It's gonna be more natural. It's in your head a little bit more, right? Yes. Good. Okay, you all right? Yes. Get a drink first and then what we'll do, we'll do the inside cut so you completely are inside cut in the ball. Mm -hmm. So you're turning your body completely, you move your body with the ball, okay? Yep, so it's the same thing. Left is there, right is here, yeah? Okay. Let's play. Touch, 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 inside chop. Good. Touch, 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 inside chop. Good. Touch, 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 inside chop. Good to see the positive touch on the ball. And stop, well done. You notice his body completely turns, okay? If you move your body with the ball, the ball will do the rest. So if you allow your body to completely turn, change direction, okay, the ball will follow you as well. If you can get the angle right of your hips. Okay, we'll do over and out. Okay. All right, mate? Yep. Start from here, so then you drive him with your left, yeah? 
So make sure as you plant, as soon as you plant, use that leverage in that body to bring the ball back with an outside positive touch. Yep. All right, mate. Three, yep. two, one. Let's go. Good. Get the outside touch into your path. Over, into your path. Good. Touch, touch, touch. Over, into your path. Good. Last one. Touch, touch. into your path. Good, Charlie. Excellent. Well done. So loads of small touches up and back like this now. Okay. okay. Yeah. Let's go. Quick feet, play. In, out, both feet, good. Turn, one more set. Good, get it across your body, good. And stop. Okay, V turn, L turn. You start on your favoured side. So with this one, he's a lefty, so you pass with the right, receive on the right. V, leg up, L, little steps. Plant your leg. So watch the plant on the right foot, protects the football and the L turn can turn. He's got space to do the L because the leg goes high. Leg, leg goes high, he has space to do the L turn. One, two, one, two, little steps. Touch, 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 touch. Good. Let's do the old turn a tiny, a tad quicker, just like you can do a V, Char, yeah? Better. There we go. That's more realistic for you. Well done. Three, two, one, and stop. Okay, excellent. Okay, just by adding that 20%, see the difference, yeah? Yeah. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Okay, let's change feet and just build it up, yeah? yeah. Build it up, yeah, because it's the other side. If you go, so you got to get the you know, the right uh, the left the left up. Sorry, yeah. Good. Stay tight. Ten, nine, eight. V, L, little steps. Um, relax. Hold on. We do five more minutes, and that's it. Okay. We're gonna do V turn L turn drag. Have a rest. Start on the right. Just one side at a time. Okay. Little steps make the pass. Okay. You ready or not? Do you want to rest? Sure? Go. Shift tap, V turn, L, little steps, pass. One, two, three, four. So he's doing right foot to the right side, in, in V, L, roll, little steps. Stay tight with the pass, Charlie, so we can go across the hoop. That's better. Two more. One more. Get it behind your back leg, well done. And stop. Change size, off you go. Get, come closer to the ring. One, two, three, four. Good, and again. Shift, tap, V-turn, L, drag, little steps. One, two, three, four. Good. One more, one more, one more. Stop. You all right? Yeah. Well done, Charles. Very, very good. Okay, so that's... 35 minutes, okay, we're going to leave it there. Me and Chaz are going to do some other bits now, okay, we still need to do a lot of um, look, looking into the new concept that we are 
coming up with at the moment uh, in terms of the ball stuff. So we're going to practice a few of that. I don't want to tire him out too much. So that's 35 minutes, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, we won't be there. We won't be online tomorrow, but we'll be back on Friday at 4 p.m. Okay, so thanks, guys. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Charlie, say thank, thank you. you. Cheers, guys. Thank you.